the very first one, I couldn't care less how the medal came. I couldn't care because I needed that very first medal. My very first race, I was, I think, about a week or something into the competition and I seen everybody else compete, enjoying themselves, winning medals for the country. When my day came, um, the night before, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. The nerves was too much. I called my mother. She couldn't calm me down. On my third Paralympic, getting my very first medal, that was the most special thing in, in life. I can't describe it. I would not be able to tell anybody, listen, this is how I felt. That this was just the most amazing thing I could ever feel as a person. Jonathan Ntutu is one of South Africa's leading Paralympians. He's won two Paralympic medals and a further five at the World Championships in the T12-13 classification for visually impaired athletes. Jonathan was born in Gugalethu. It's a poor township just outside of Cape Town that is notorious for its high murder rate and oppression of black people during apartheid. Growing up in such an environment with a disability could occasionally be tough for Jonathan, but running was an outlet. Yes, I'm visually impaired from birth. Um, the disease I actually got is um, toxoplasmosis. Um, I was born with it and haven't been able to try to better my vision. Um, my vision has stagnated for all the years, so it um, just has shown that um, it won't get um, better. For me, athletics, as a, as a, I think as a, as, a, as a child, it was something fun because um, I could run and enjoy the day and continue the next day as if nothing happened. Sport is the way that it can change somebody's life not just for the, the sense that you know, people get to go overseas, people get to get become famous, but some guys are, are using sports to get out of their problems. And some guys, we'll find a lot of guys in townships that will be using drugs and going to gangs and stuff like that, but many of them are able to get out of that in terms of doing sports during the day. Jonathan struggled in mainstream education, so he was enrolled at the Athlone School for the Blind. It's there where his love for sport, especially athletics, grew. At the age of 12, his life changed dramatically when his father passed away. I wouldn't say he was unexpected because he was ill for a long time, but I, I guess I wasn't prepared for it. Um, in terms of my father actually never seen me run, like never. But not, I'm not talking about in terms of TV, but he never come to a physical race to see me run. So for me, it was difficult to to accept. And I had to step up and be an older brother to my brothers because my father wasn't there for us. Jonathan has since gone on to have two children of his own. His eldest is superhero mad, and for him, Jonathan is something of a hero in his own right. Throughout his life, Jonathan has defied prejudice against his race, his disability, and socio-economic background to reach the pinnacle of his sport. There hasn't been a lot of black athletes that have achieved success on the international stage, especially for South Africa. Um, I would like to stay there as long as I can to help the young gen younger generation through the, the, the difficulty parts of how it is. This year, Jonathan won Commonwealth gold in the 100 metres in Australia, setting a new Games record of 10.80 seconds. In a country that's been blighted by the controversy surrounding Oscar Pistorius, the 33-year-old is helping to write a new script for disability sport in South Africa. <laughs> I would like to look back and say, listen, guys, we are athletes, we have achieved something in our lifetime and made the sport or the, our country 
better place to live in.